So you want to know how to create an infinite scrollable list in a web page? Then you have come to the right place as now in a few minutes you can learn the perfect way to create a twitter like infinite scrollable list. This can be done by using a pretty neat and awesome API available in JavaScript which is called as Intersection Observer API. This API can let you know when any HTML element becomes visible by a specific percentage in the browsers or any other elements viewport. You can learn the basics of this API in another video which I have created whose link you can find in this video's description. In this page there are a number of different items inside a div and this div is kind of acting like a list. Now what we need to do to implement an infinite scrolling list is when the user will scroll all the way to the bottom of this page and when this element is visible then all we need to do is to append new items at the end of this div which is acting like a list. The appending of new items should happen without any other kind of user interaction apart from the user is scrolling all the way to the bottom and making this element visible. And now let's begin with the code example but before we do that I would like to request all of you to please hit the subscribe button if you happen to like this video during its course. You will be helping this channel in a pretty good way by doing that. So getting back to this code example, first let's add some HTML to this HTML page. Now let's add the script element to write our JavaScript code. We are also going to need a div which will act like a list and which will contain all of the individual items. So let's just add it. The ID is div content. We also need to add a trigger element which when becomes visible will prompt the JavaScript code to add new items at the end of the div content and we will know when the trigger element becomes visible using the intersection observer API. So this div will act as a trigger element. Also let's just add some line breaks over here. Now coming back to the script, first let's fetch the references for this div content and this list and div which is the trigger element. We can fetch the references using the get element by id function. Now we need to add two functions to this code. The first one is going to be the load function which will be called when this page will be loaded. Another function will be to add new items to the div content. So function add items. And then we are going to call this add items from the load function and we also need to wire up the load event with the dom content loaded event of the window. So let's just do that. You must have noticed that we don't have any element for the individual content items for this div content. We are going to create that element using the javascript code and we will need a function to always create a new element and then return it to the calling code. So for that let's create a function and we are going to call it generate data block. So this function is going to return a new div element which will act as the individual content item. So let item equals to document dot create element and this is going to be a div. We will need to set its class so that we can properly style it. So item dot set attribute. The attribute is class and let's set the class name as item. We will be adding the classes for this individual content item and also for this div content and this list and trigger element. Apart from creating the item, we also need to provide an argument for the message which we can print inside this item. So item.text content equals to message. And then finally we can return this item to the calling code. Now getting back to the add items, we are going to run a loop over here to add a bunch of different individual content items. First when the page is loaded and later whenever the trigger element becomes visible. So let's just do that. So for let i equals to 0 and then let's just add 20 elements. So let item equals to generate and data block. We also need to provide a message over here and we also need individual IDs for the message and for that ID we can create another field or variable over here and let's just call it item count. Let's set the initial value as 0. So we can provide a message argument over here and for that I'm going to use an array and let's set the message as this is item number and then we can provide the value for the item count. Now we can join this array using an empty string so as to remove any blank spaces between these array items. Now let's just append this item to the div content. So div content dot append child and then item. 
we also need to increment the item count so that the new items which will be generated will have an incremental number so item count plus plus so whenever this add items function will be called then it will append this newly created div element into this div content we also need another flag over here and we are going to call it appending so this flag will be used to check if the data items or content items are already being added to the content div or not let's set the initial value as false so whenever we will start to add the items we can set the appending flag to true and when the items have been added we can set it to false so appending equals to false and now it's time to create the intersection observer object for that purpose let's just create a new object so let observer equals to new intersection observer we need to provide a callback as an argument and also an options object which will have the different options like the root element the root margin threshold etc so for options we can create a new object and this options is going to have the root element because we are going to use the browser's viewport i'm going to set this as null for the root margin we can use 0px so if you want to learn more about this intersection observer api then i would highly advise you to watch my other video on this channel so for threshold we can use 1.0 so 1.0 stands for 100% which simply means that the trigger element will when become 100% visible then this callback is going to be called and we will know when it is 100% visible in the browser's viewport. So our options object is created and now we need to start observing the trigger element. For that we can call observer.observe and let's just provide the id of the trigger element which is this list end. And now it's time to create the callback so let callback equals to a new function and we need to provide the arguments for this callback function which are the entries list and the observer itself so we need to iterate over all of the entries to find the list end element or the trigger element which we are going to use so entries dot for each let's rename this element as entry so we need to check if the id of this entry or the id of the entry's target matches with the list end so if entry dot target dot id is list end then we can check if this entries is intersecting property is true if it is then it will simply mean that this list and element is visible in the browser's viewport by this percentage which is 100 percent so if entry dot is intersecting and we should also check if we are not already appending items to the div content and not is appending or actually the name is appending then what we can do is first let's just set the appending flag to true and then instead of directly adding the items to the div let's just introduce a delay so that we can see when the items are going to be added for that we can use the set timeout function so set timeout and let's set the timeout as 3000 which equals to three seconds and inside this set timeout functions argument we can call the add items function which will add a bunch of new items to the div content and that's pretty much it for this code example now all we can do is to run the code and see if it is working perfectly or not but before we do that we also need to provide the styling information for this div content this list and element and also for this data block or the content item for this div content div so for that we can create a new style element and i'm just going to paste the classes which we are going to need so this is for the div content id this is for list and id and this is for the item class which we are using over here actually over here to set the attribute the value of the class attribute of this item so this is the div content and these are the initial content items which we have added from the load function now let's scroll all the way to the bottom to see 
when the trigger element becomes visible and when it does then new items should be appended at the end and there you go new items are being appended just as we were talking and again new items are being added and when we will scroll all the way to the bottom again new item have again been added now let's just wait for a while and see if the items are added or not they will not be added because this trigger element is not visible and when this trigger element will be completely visible then only these items will be added now you can see that this trigger element is partially visible it is not completely visible now because it is not completely visible the items are not being added but when it will be completely visible then after three seconds new items will be added to this infinite scrollable list and that is how you create an infinite scrollable list in your web pages you can easily modify this code to use an asynchronous request to fetch the data items from the server but that is a topic for another video this is the end for this video and do let me know what you think about it if you have any questions then feel free to use the comments area and i will always be available to answer your questions and queries also subscribe to this channel if you like this video and with that i will see you in the next video till then have a great time